You still want to drink that? Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jack here, and today I'm showing you another Stranger Things mock. Hopefully you're enjoying Stranger Things week. This is the fourth installment in this weekly extravaganza. But the mock I'm showing you today is the Russian elevator that Steve, Robin, Dustin, and Erica get stuck in for almost an entire day. You might be thinking, wow Jack, that's an incredibly bland looking build. And yes it is, unfortunately the Russian base does not have a lot of color, so I had to go for accuracy and make all the walls gray, instead of making it blue to kind of replicate that bluish tint. So to spice this thing up, I was able to include the ugly red flatbed car which I'll get into later and also some custom minifigures which is why I started talking about the color so soon. These are both custom printed minifigures of Steve and Robin from minifigs.me. I want to give a special thank you to them for sending these figures over because these are absolutely amazing. They add so much more color and realism to this build even though it's an underground Russian base. The amount of work and effort they put into these minifigures is absolutely amazing. You can even see the necklace on Robin's neck, but I'll be doing a full-on in-depth review of both these figures as well with their custom printed Max and Billy this Sunday, so stay tuned for that because these figures are gorgeous. But back to the actual mock, I do want to say that this thing is not built on a base plate, and I want to stress why, because I'm starting to move away from that. Building on a base plate is only good for modulars or gigantic builds, otherwise it just makes it look very plain. In fact, the rock work underneath this mock wasn't there initially, it was just the plates, but that was so ugly I decided to put some rock work again because this thing is underground. This actual model consists of two main sections. You have the front lobby type area where the Russian elevator actually leads into, and of course the elevator itself with all the boxes. And those are separated with a working elevator door that does slide up just like the one in the show so you can catch it with that green liquid if you want to. The roof of the elevator does pop off too and the only reason I built a roof was just because the whole gang hit up there when the Russians actually showed up. You can see the little shafts where the elevator is actually suspended on and that little hole in the roof will take you directly into the elevator below which I think is kind of accurate. It could be better but it's pretty much the best I could do. I tried to replicate the walls by adding a snot technique. The reason I did this was just to have small little strips of dark gray going up and down. It's not too accurate, in fact it's not nearly as subtle as it needs to be, but it's actually more accurate than just a gray wall and it looks a little bit better too. Cluttered inside here is a bunch of these boxes that all contain this special green acid that power the drill to open the upside down. I don't know how it works, but I don't need to. There's also a small red dolly in here to add some extra color. Without that, there would be no pizzazz, and this thing would look even more horrible than it does with nothing in it. But the last thing here is the thing I mentioned before. It's the fully functioning elevator. This thing does lift up just like the actual show, so you can make the figures go in and out just like you would if you were actually doing some stop motion or anything really. And once you leave that elevator, you're taken to the central lobby area. There's really nothing here. It's got very boring and bland walls with some boring floor, but that's just how the Russian base is. It doesn't look that pretty, so to spice this thing up, all I did was add the flatbed thing that they drove off with all the boxes. This thing is also very ugly. When you look at the reference pictures, you can see just how boxy this thing is, which makes it pretty easy to build just because it's a rectangle with wheels. But with that being said and done, that is all of this mock, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I will link some more Stranger Bricks episodes down below, so you can watch some more mocks, but I do want to mention this mock is in collaboration with Avaki. If you want to check out his rendition of this, I will link his channel down below. But that is it, so as always, thanks so much for watching, and most importantly, take care, guys.